Okay, students, let's start with O levels in IGCSE physics, MCQs, fast papers for the chapter of pressure. Okay. An African elephant has a mass of 6,000 kg and each of its four feet has an area of 0 0.2 meters square. Okay. The gravitational field strength G is 9.8. Okay. Calculate the average pressure. So pressure is equals to force over area. Now let's calculate force. Force will be equal to the weight that is 6000 into 9.8. But you can't take this whole weight. You can't take this whole weight. The elephant has four feet. So you will divide this weight by four. And each feet has an area of 0 0.2. Your pressure will be 6000 uh, 6, multiplied by 9.8 divided by four divided by the area that is 0 0.2. Let's calculate the answer 6000 into 9.8 divided by 4 divided by 0.2. This comes out to be 73500 pascals, which is roughly equal to 74 kilopascals. Okay, let's further move ahead. Each tire of a car has an area of this, okay, is in contact with the ground. The car has a mass of this. This is your mass of the car. The weight of the car is equally distributed among the four tires. The gravitational field strength is 10. Okay, what is the pressure exerted on the ground? Pressure is again equal to force over area. How will you calculate your force? Weight is equal to, or force is equal to, you can say, force is equal to the weight that is 1600 multiplied by 10 divided by 4. Because the car has four tires, this becomes one, this becomes 400, your force becomes 4000. Your force is 4000, your area is 100. What will your answer become? Uh, 40 Newton per centimeter square. C is your answer. Let's further move ahead. Let's see this question. Nail X is tapped into wood. Okay. Nail Y is tapped into same wood using the same force. Okay. Nail X is tapped into the wood. Nail Y is also tapped into the same wood with the same force. Okay. Which nail moves the furthest into the wood and why? Okay. So first of all, if you notice pressure is equal to force over area. If the force becomes constant, if the force becomes constant as in this case, what will happen? Pressure and area are inversely related can you see x has a lower area can you see area of x is lower than the area of y if area is lower that means what your pressure will be greater due to x so a is your answer x produces greater pressure on the wood and that's why x moves further into the wood let's move on to the next question a block of weight w rests on a side of area a the gravitational field strength is g what is the pressure pressure is equal to force over area force is equal to weight area is a b is your answer let's move on to the next question a block of weight 900 newton has rectangular faces okay the diagram shows the length of the sides the block can rest on any of its faces, okay? What is the minimum pressure? You have to calculate the minimum pressure, okay? So again, if you want to calculate the minimum pressure, you want the area to be maximum. Why? Because pressure and area are inversely proportional. When will the area be proportional? When this side, this side of the block will be as, will be as the base, okay? So pressure minimum will be equal to what? Force that is 900. And what is the area of this yellow highlighted side? 0 0.5 into 0 0.4. Your answer comes out to be 4,500 pascals. B is your answer. Let's further move ahead. Two vessels S and T are filled to the same level with the same liquid. The area of the base of A S is less than the is is less than that of T. Okay. So this base area, as you can see, of S is less than the base area of T, okay? Which statement is correct? Okay, which statement is correct? You have to also see that both the vessels have the same level. That means their height is same. 
and both the vessels have the same liquid that means their density is also same so pressure due to a liquid depends on what rho g h pressure due to a liquid doesn't depends on area however it depends on density and height the density is same the height is same and gravitational field strength is also same for both of these vessels and the pressure for p s will be equal to p t is there any answer like that b is your uh no not b b is giving you the force answer the pressure on the base of s is same as the pressure on the base of t d is your answer let's move ahead okay a brick of a brick of weight 80 newton stands upright on the ground as shown okay what is the pressure it exerts on the ground pressure is equals to weight over area what is your weight 80 newton what will be your area your area will be this thing what is the area of this rectangle 10 into 5 i am not converting into meters why because my final answers are in centimeters okay so 80 divided by 50 this comes out to be 1.6 as your answer. D is your answer. Okay, let's see this question. Four different liquids are poured into identical measuring cylinders. The diagram shows the depths of the liquid and their density is okay. Which liquid has the largest pressure on the base of the measuring cylinder? Okay, let's calculate that. This liquid will have a pressure of what? Pressure is equals to rho g h. Your rho is 2. Your g is let's say 10. But you should take 9.81. For examinations, you should take 9.8, sorry. And your height is 10 centimeter. Okay. Why I am not converting that uh, this height centimeter into meter? Because my density is also in centimeters. So 2 into 10 into 9.8. This will become what? 196 pascals. Okay. This is 196 pascals. Let's try out for cylinder B. Your pressure is equal to rho g h. Uh, rho is 1.6. G is 9.8. Your height is 20. 1.6 into 20 into 9.8. This comes out to be 31. I hope I am correct. 313.6 Pascal. Yes. Let's do option C. Uh, in option C, you have. Let's do it here. Pressure is equal to rho g h. Your rho is 1.2. Your g is 9.8. Your height is 30. So 1.2 into 30 into 9.8. This comes out to be 352.8 pascals. Okay, let's do it for option D. Pressure is equal to rho g h. Rho is 0 0.7. G is 9.8. Height is 40. Let's see 0. 0.7 into 9.8 into uh, 40. This comes out to be 274.4 Pascal. So the highest pressure, do, did we have to calculate the largest pressure? Yes. C is your largest pressure. As you can see, it is 352.8 Pascal. Let's further move ahead. Mercury is a liquid. The diagram shows a simple mercury barometer, which height shows the atmospheric pressure this height the height of the liquid in the barometer shows the atmospheric pressure let's wait then move ahead okay when the pressure exerted by the atmosphere is this your height of the barometer is 0 0.76 meter okay what is the pressure exerted by the atmosphere when the height of the mercury is this simple ratio method you are told that the pressure is 0 0.1 megapascal if the height is 0 0.76 meter, when the height will be 0 0.75 meters, what will be your pressure? Put a x here. x will be equal to what? 0 0.57 into 0 0.1 divided by 0 0.76. 0 0.57 into 0 0.1 divided by 0 0.76. This comes out to be 0 0.075. Is there any answer like that? 0 0.0. 75 megapascal B is your answer. Okay, let's see this question. Cylinder X is pushed into, okay, a hydraulic cylinder, cylinder, uh, piston X, sorry, is pushed into a hydraulic cylinder. Piston X produces a pressure PX in the liquid cylinder. The diagram shows the cylinder viewed from the above. Okay. So do you remember an important property for hydraulic cylinder? 
the pressure at all the pistons used to be equal to each other the pressure at all the pistons used to be equal to each other so is there any option like that d is your answer let's further move ahead let's see this at a depth d in sea water the total pressure experienced by a diver is 2p okay where p is the atmospheric pressure so if i can draw this at a depth of d basically your pressure is p and p is due to the atmosphere what will be the at which depth is the pressure 4p okay so what should be the depth to cause a pressure of 4p so if you increase the depth further by 2d your pressure will become 2p here 2p plus 2p plus p that is 4p and what is the depth here d plus 2d that is 3d so at a depth of 3d your pressure will be 4p let's see this and underwater diver moves from an ocean to a fresh water lake okay he is moving from an ocean to a fresh water lake okay the density of water in the lake is less okay so the density of lake is less compared to the density of ocean okay in which position does the diver experience the smallest pressure you must know that the smallest pressure will occur in the lake why because lake has the lowest density and in the lake the smallest pressure will occur at the point of lowest depth that is point c a fish is swimming 15 meters below the surface of a lake as shown okay the density of water is 1000 the atmospheric pressure is 1 lakh pascals the acceleration of free fall is 10 what is the total pressure on the fish first of all let's calculate the pressure due to the water that is rho that is 1000 multiplied by g that is 10 multiplied by the height that is 15 this comes out to be 15 0 and 3 zeros pascals what is your atmospheric pressure 1 lakh add this atmospheric pressure here add this atmospheric pressure here 1 0 0 0 pascals your total pressure will be equal to what 2 5 0 0 0 pascals so d is your answer simple as that let's further move ahead the diagram shows three tubes p q r each tube contains air trapped by a water column okay which statement is correct can you see each of them have the same height this also has the same height this also has the same height this also has the same height so the pressure in p q r is same the pressure of trapped air in p q r is same a is the correct option let's see this two cylindrical vessels are joined together and filled with water as shown okay how does the pressure at point x compare to the pressure at point y and z can you see x is at the same point as y so the pressure at x and y will be same so a and b option will get cancelled out and can you see point z is below x so compared to z pressure at x will be lower c is your answer let's further move ahead let's see this uh, two glass containers filled with different liquids that means densities will be different okay are placed next to each other point p is at a distance h below the surface of the liquid and point q is a distance h below the surface of the liquid okay why is the pressure at p different from the pressure at q why is the pressure different at p and q the density the atmospheric pressure is different at p no the densities of the liquid are different p is the correct answer why because they are different liquids 